And then, Dave, we're not having fun at Winter Blast. Nope, this is all ice, huge chunks of ice that has been scattered along the street here. And one of the local companies on the corner, JMAX Robertson, took it upon themselves to move it off to the side. Because once you get down into it, I've got these waders on, people are falling through and they're ankle deep in water. The water has been freely flowing from this water main pipe for four days now, says Ruth Killian. I can't go to the doctor, grocery store, and I have a sick brother here, too. That's because her car is now being held hostage by the ice. Can't go nowhere. Cold temperatures froze the ankle-deep water around her car. In fact, all of Appaline Street in Detroit is frozen solid, making people like Angela Scott feel trapped in their own homes. I'm stuck in, yes, I'm stuck in the house. Because I can't get out the driveway. Many have ditched their cars at the end of the street and tried walking to their homes after they heard what happened to Scott. When I tried to bag into the driveway, I tore my bump, front bumper off. Neighbors say the city has been out at least once to throw down some salt on the ice, but no one has bothered to fix the broken pipe. I'm very upset about it because they don't want to do anything about it. And I don't know if you can see the sewer drain here. It's covered with all this water. It's clogged, actually. And I did call Mayor Bing's office tonight, and his assistant does tell me that they are aware of the problem here and that the first response was the salt. But they said that residents here probably won't see anybody physically out here working on it until Monday. For now, we're live in Detroit. Julie Bonovich, Channel 7, Action News.